method number four. Assume a VA or an FHA loan. You know, everybody thinks that in order to get an FHA loan or a VA loan, you have to turn around and you got to be a veteran. Or you have to be able to qualify for a mortgage. That's absolutely not true. Oh, if you're going to be, if you're going to buy a VA home and you're going to the VA to get a loan, that's right, you have to be a veteran. And you also must be able to prove to the bank that you can make the monthly payments. You've got to qualify just like any other loan. And if you want to go out and get an FHA loan, same thing. You have to prove to the bank that you're qualified, and then you can get a 3% down loan, but you have to prove you can make the payments. But that's the first person getting the loan. There isn't a person in this room that can't, starting tomorrow morning, go out and buy enough real estate so not only will they pay no taxes next April, but they will get back every single penny in taxes that they've paid for the last three years. How would you like to get back the taxes that you paid in the last three years? Would you like that? All right. All you've got to do is start using these no money down principles and buying real estate and playing by the rule called depreciation. All we have to learn is that you don't have to pay any taxes if you do it right. And real estate is the answer. And you just add up how much money you've paid out in the last three years and just add up how many pieces of property you could buy or how many vacations you could go on if you could get all that money back from IRS. And you can, and you can do it next April. But you've got to start today buying property. And if you have no money, then the only way you can do it is with no money down. And that's what we're talking about. So let's go back. Not only will the government give you back your taxes, the government's going to help you because you don't have to qualify. I told you if you, you're the one qualifying for the loan, yes, you do have to qualify. But you see, after the first person has gone out and gotten a VA loan, after the first person has gone out and gotten the FHA loan, and they've promised the government they're going to live in it, and they've lived in it for a while, they can sell it. And anybody buying it can buy it if they've got $45 if they've got the ability to sign their name and that's it there's not even a credit check they don't even run a credit you fill out an application you attach a check for 45 bucks and you send it in and it's automatic that's by law there's no qualifying you could have been bankrupt yesterday you could have had, you could have the worst credit no credit it doesn't matter you can go out and buy those properties right now i was challenged in kansas city to buy a piece of property for someone. And a radio station challenged it. They picked out an unemployed commercial artist for me. I arrived in town, and we started at exactly 8 o'clock in the morning. By 1 o'clock, Peter Van Schwartzbeck owned this house in Kansas City. And he owned it. The man had bad credit. Matter of fact, he had rotten credit. <laughs> he had just gotten out of the hospital. He was unemployed. He had no money in the bank. And what we did was just what I said earlier. We found a divorced couple. He was now living back with his parents. She had moved away and taken the baby. The house was sitting empty. It was going to ruin their entire credit. They had bought it on a VA loan, and it was just sitting there. And we just said, we'll take over the payments for you. Neither one of them wanted to even go near the house. We dealt with the parents, as a matter of fact, because they didn't even want to see the property. It had brought back bad memories. And we helped them out. We solved it so they didn't get bad credit. Peter took over the property, and then he went and rented it out to someone who would cover the mortgage payments for him. Matter of fact, he used something called equity sharing, and that's something which we, we really didn't cover too much yet, but it, it can be done. And equity sharing is just one method where you find a tenant that will turn around and pay you maybe a little bit extra, and for that, you know what you give him? You give him part of the equity of the house so that you're going to be his partner. He's going to take good care of that house. He's not going to be a tenant that might ruin it. That property is going to go up in value. That property is going to be taken care of. And as it appreciates, the guy living in it gets part of the profits, and you get part of the profits. And for that, he pays a little bit extra to make sure that you don't have a negative cash flow. And that's the simplest way I know to get rid of negative cash flow in this country in any single family home. And that's exactly what Peter did. In one morning, we were able to accomplish that. Just assuming a VA or an FHA loan, and there are thousands of them out there of people wanting. Look in today's paper. I did. I'll tell you. I took today's paper, Sunday's paper, 
and I, this is just on one page, I circled the no money down ads that were here. You're telling me they're not around? They're in every city in the country. Let me just read to you. Anxious. Owner must sell. Assume the loan. Here's another one. Owner flexible. Nine and three quarter percent terms. Bring all offers. Zero down. Owner will carry equity. Owner will carry 8% loan. Desperate seller. The price is right. No qualifying or loan fees. You don't think they're in the newspaper? That's it right there. It's not only today, it's every. Some of you may have seen me sitting in the back of the room during the last break. That's what I was doing, just going through today's paper and circling them. So they're out there. All you have to do is understand the no money down method and learn how to negotiate to buy it at wholesale, sell it at retail. Negotiate price down, interest.